okay so anybody who is working in the intensive care unit or emergency or the wards or in hospital or any healthcare facility should know the definition of hypoglycemia what do you mean by hypoglycemia suppose a sister comes there to you that patient is having blood sugar of 60 but patient is not symptomatic and a patient is having blood sugar of 90 but you feel that patient is symptomatic so when you will call that patient is having a hypoglycemic episodes so i have noted down some interesting facts to share with you all so uh, do listen and if you find it useful do do share with your colleagues and uh, juniors and seniors so that they get a clarity about this so according to definition there is no absolute value for which you will call is hypo, this patient is having hypoglycemia by definition means any level of abnormally low blood glucose sugar levels which can potentially cause harm to the patient or puts the patient to harm so there is no actual definition actual value of blood glucose in that but any low blood glucose level which can cause harm to the liver so there are six or seven terms which needs to be known by everyone one is the alert value alert value means this is the blood sugar level value at which the clinician or the bedside staff nurse or anyone who is taking care should get alerted that this patient can develop severe symptoms or may be having symptoms of hypoglycemia at this stage and this level is less than 70 milligram per deciliter so alert value is less than 70 milligram per deciliter means one should get alerted and take active measure to bring the sugar levels to a higher value now the second is clinically important biochemical hypoglycemia this is the blood sugar level which can cause very serious and deleterious effects on the patient and this level is less than 54 milligram per deciliter means if if a patient is having less than 54 milligram per deciliter that means this is patient is very 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 high risk of developing serious of uh, temporary or permanent consequences of hypoglycemia now severe hypoglycemia what do you mean by severe hypoglycemia severe hypoglycemia means any blood glucose sugar level means less than 70 or any level at which the patient require assistance of somebody else to supplement the carbohydrate or supplement uh, the sugar or dextrose means any level means i would not say any level but a level of abnormally blood glucose sugar level at which the patient requires some assistance from somebody else to supplement those uh, carbohydrate or sugars or dextrose that is called severe hypoglycemia at times you may not have uh, blood glucose sugar, uh, sugar level at that point but the moment the patient recovers after giving dextrose that means that it was severe hypoglycemia and symptoms were due to this now documented symptomatic hyper, hypoglycemia means patient is having symptoms and you report the blood sugar level and it is less than 70 mg per deciliter means documented symptomatic hypoglycemia it's very simple patient was having symptoms and it got documented also asymptomatic hypoglycemia means patient is not having any symptoms but your blood glucose levels come less than 70 mg per deciliter so this less than 70 mg per deciliter is a critical value we discussed so you need to take action though patient may not have developed symptoms right now but can develop so asymptomatic hypoglycemia means blood sugar levels less than 70 mg per deciliter but patient is not having symptoms probable symptomatic hypoglycemia means patient comes to you that looks up um, doctor i was having certain symptoms giddiness something and then i ate some sugar candies or take some fruit juices or sugar and then my symptoms improve so you may not know what is the blood glucose sugar, sugar level was at that time but it could be we say that it could be probable symptomatic hypoglycemia means sugar levels are not there but because it improved so uh, it is probable symptomatic hypoglycemia this is not serious uh, uh, this is not severe hypoglycemia because in severe hypoglycemia you also not know any blood glucose sugar level but the patient need to require some assistance from somebody else to supplement the carbohydrate that you call is severe hypoglycemia so in probable symptomatic hypoglycemia patient told, tells you that this symptom i was having and i took sugar pseudo hypoglycemia means patient having symptoms of hypoglycemia but your blood glucose sugar levels are more than 70 mg per deciliter but you say that when i recorded the sugar level the patient recorded the sugar level the sugar levels were above 70 but a patient was feeling symptoms sort of hypoglycemia so it is pseudo uh, uh, hypoglycemia 
it can happen because uh, uh, some diabetic patients develop a threshold a little higher threshold for developing hypoglycemic symptoms but by definition these are terms so i'm just rewinding reversing one thing you need to know what is the critical value you need to know what is critically important biochemical hypoglycemia what is severe hypoglycemia what is documented symptomatic hypoglycemia what is asymptomatic hypoglycemia what is probable symptomatic hypoglycemia and the last one is pseudo hypoglycemia so i hope this would be of some help to you do share with your juniors nurses colleagues batchmates and anybody you feel that this could be uh, helpful and do read more about this topic thank you